All right, this one is going to be on something I put together, and I call this one Fuzzy Finder D Menu. Basically, it's an app launcher for your terminal, uh, but it launches GUI applications, not command line one. So, uh, so it's kind of like D Menu, actually more exactly like uh, J4 Menu because it only it only uh, looks for the .desktop files, and so there's a few ways to do this depending on. Uh, what type of user you're at right now okay so the first one is well this is our function here uh, it's just a fzfd menu and you would put this in either your bash rc or zshrc depending on what shell you're using uh, both works doesn't matter but uh, you can launch it uh, manually if you just type it out as a d menu and this is you know go look at uh, all the dot desktop files aka your your uh, GUI applications and let's say if I launch uh, Thunar there you go it launches it right not a big deal um, if you want to do this the high key uh, let me show you the high keys for this so let's go to our ZSHRC because we're using ZSH right now um, you can actually bind it to a high key so the commands for this or yeah the, the code for this is bind key dash s and then you give it the high key combo you want so right now we're using control o for this example and we're just going to run that um, function here so fzfd menu and then we do a dash n or i mean slash n for enter or new line right to send that thing here so if i do control o now you'll see it'll run the thing instead of us typing it out and you can launch uh you know your um applications so that's for zsh uh and hotkeys if you want to do it in bash uh I'll show you the bash rc here so in bash they don't have bind key but they do have the bind command and the bind command you know you wanted to have your um your hotkey set so right now we're doing control o also and we're just going to run that function and new line same thing that we did before just looks different on bash but that's what it looks like and you can do control o in here also so you hit control o and there you go you have your list here and you can launch it like libreoffice writer or something and it'll launch your word processor here right um those two requires you know you to have those um shell open and active if you're using it with like other programs let's say if you're on vim or something like that you can't hit control o because uh control would be just for the vim application or if you're on finch or something like that you know you hit control o it doesn't know that hotkey or whatever because um finch has different hotkeys but if you combine this with uh tmux uh, the good thing about Tmux is that it can spawn a new window, so it doesn't matter whatever applications you're using at the moment. You can always hit the hotkey and it will spawn a new window, and then you can access your uh, launcher. So let me give you an example of that here. Uh, I bind it to the hell we're we at. Let me exit this here, and we're gonna go into our Tmux configurations. So in Tmux here, um, this is the only two lines that you need to be concerned about here this two here right uh, we're just gonna do a bind key and dash n and when I use control space okay and the dash n means that we're not gonna use any prefix so usually um, in tmx you have control B some people use control a for the prefix and well you have to do a dash n then you don't need to do a prefix so we're just gonna hit control space only and once we do that it's gonna spawn a new window it's gonna name it uh, ZFZ D menu, and it's gonna start out in home. Uh, and then the keys that we're gonna send it to is that we're gonna send that function, right? FZF D menu that we created in our bash RC or ZSH RC, and it's gonna run that thing so we can actually access our um, our menu. And it's gonna wait for one second, so we can actually uh, spawn um, or execute that command. And then after that. Once it's done and everything, it will just kill the Tmux window. Um, so let me show you that right here. So right now, if we um, any 
on, on any of your tmux window or pane whatever it doesn't matter all you do is hit control space and it will spawn a new window so it says window 5 down here uh, fzfd menu and then after that you launch a application let's say a mouse pad once you launch it it will actually kill itself the window that is and you go back to where you were. So let's say if I was chatting in Finch here, I hit Control Space, and I can launch uh, Thunar. And once it launches it, it goes back to the window that I was at, which is my uh, chat window here. Um, so that is pretty much how I use it nowadays, using uh, this launcher. So it's my replacement for J4 menu or D menu. Anyways, I'll post you all the the code in the description and other related videos if you don't know how to use um, fuzzy finder I did a video on that like a couple months ago um, that'll be it for this one All right